quick little video. This video is directed and intended for black people. A melanated, the original people of the planet. Okay? I ain't got time to be word playing. Why is it that y'all, y'all don't believe shit until, until Caucasians put their stamp of approval on it? I mean, I, I, I know, but I mean, a lot of y'all don't even fucking know. I'm just putting it out there. Y'all don't believe, um, uh, that you're married until through the system the Caucasian puts his stamp of approval on it and signs his signature on the contract that you're married. You don't believe you're married until you put his stamp of approval on it. You don't believe you're a soldier until he tells you you're a soldier now. You don't believe a goddamn thing until the Caucasian tell you that's what you are. And here you are, you you are the original body of this planet. Living in the black body now. The same body, the same genes within your DNA, that's dormant than the motherfucker right now. The same genes that taught every race their language. Gave them culture to a certain extent, but a lot of them added other extra shit to it. Okay, but put them on their feet on the road to civilization to build a world for their own race to have a way of life. The same body now. And yet, y'all allow a baby on the planet now. They only been there about 6,000 years. They're a baby. Y'all allow baby on the planet to overrule your goddamn common sense. Niggas don't believe shit until the Caucasian tell them this is what they are. So now they have come up with a holiday, June 19th, saying that that's our independence. And now this is when you niggas believe it and you celebrate it. For years, for centuries, a lot of y'all no brain having motherfuckers been celebrating Independence Day. Fourth of July. Fourth of July fucking lie. 1776. When they so-called got their independence from England. But guess where your ancestors were at that time? Still in servitude slavery. And here y'all go, everyday barbecuing and shit, with y'all brainless ass, popping firecrackers and shit, wearing American flags and shit, holding the motherfuckers up, toting them and shit, representing the United States and shit, as if our ancestors are that body that you live in, those same goddamn genes in your body was still... Here during that time of enslavement. And here you are celebrating that shit. 4th of July. Now it seems to the point to where the Caucasians. Starting to have a, just a pinch of sympathy for y'all ass. A pinch of sympathy for y'all ass. To say these goddamn fools ain't got sense enough to know that they still was in slavery. On the 4th of July. 1776. Let's. Let's get them a holiday to where we legally gave them their independence. Which they really didn't give you shit. Okay? They did not. They still was hanging your ass. Still dogging you out. Still persecuting you. Still handling you any kind of way. To even the point to where a damn child. A Caucasian child could... Through the voice of command. Demand your death. Okay. Demand your imprisonment. Just off the voice. So. 
You didn't have no fucking independence. In the little independence that you did have, they came and slapped that shit out the way during Black Wall Street. So, I don't want to hear nothing about no goddamn celebrating no independence when you still got another race teaching you your history. I don't want to hear that shit until they put it in school curriculums where only black people can teach us our history. That's the least they can do. And I mean history, real fucking history. Not no history where we were slaves and the shit don't go no further than the shores of America on some ships picking damn cotton. That's bullshit. The shit is an insult. So, until y'all can wake y'all ass up and realize that you have been totally brainwashed with pure certified shit water. They're going to continue to run the game. And y'all going to fall right in line with your God. Because on the subconscious level, most of y'all believe that Jesus is a white man. Okay? Therefore, subconsciously, you could never really challenge the Caucasians. The Caucasians, I have to give y'all this credit. Y'all got it made. Mentally, physically, y'all have conquered the minds of the original people, the majority of them. Not all of them, because that shit don't apply to me. There's a few of us out there that, you know, y'all still got to wrestle with, but the shit just ain't going to happen. But y'all have conquered these niggas. Okay? Mentally, physically, and even spiritually. You got them believing in some shit that ain't even real. Some shit that can't benefit them. Some shit that was forced on them. And through slavery. That's how you should. Anybody should know. That shit right there like smoking crack. Everybody know you shouldn't smoke fucking crack. Therefore everybody should know. To stay the fuck away. From that shit they gave uh, our ancestors. In slavery. Christianity, that is. The Jesus that floated on a cloud and shit. Supposedly died for your sins. The same shit that's been presented to slaves during slavery. In the Bible. Slaves, obey your earthly master as you would your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thus, making you willingly a slave. Subconsciously. Which, of course, drags along the physical body and mind. Okay, so in spirit. So they have totally colonized the God body of the universe. And God, when I say God body, I do mean the the melanated body, which is the conductor of the Most High God. So this is why the Bible tells you that Satan conquered the world. Because he conquered your black ass. Because there was a time when you, the black body, ruled the whole damn planet. But now look at the shit. You niggas don't believe shit until the Caucasians put their stamp of approval on it. Because subconsciously, y'all believe the white man is God. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hard to accept, ain't it? But guess what? Somebody got to give you the goddamn truth. Regardless of how it make you feel. I'm just saying, why would you accept some shit after you find out? Just this simple piece right here should say something. Why would you accept some shit after you found out that it was brutalized, beaten to your ancestors and forced on them? Why would you accept that shit after you found that out? Could it be fear? Could it be just mental programming? I think it's all of the above. Bottom line, black people, y'all should not, because most of y'all identify with blackness. I don't. Okay, I know I live in a black body, and I understand the language of today. 
But personally, I don't see myself as this physical body. But most of y'all identify with the body because y'all are egotistical and ego-based. So, black people, the day y'all finally get that shit out y'all mind, that y'all don't need the stamp of approval of a baby on the planet to be what you want to be, to do what you want to do, then will you become a damn nation again. You will never be a nation with the approval of a race, another race that, that lives by a code of survival. A race that cannot survive in the sun after a certain amount of time. If a if this, if this race gets a little bit of you, which is melanoma, on their body, it could cause them their death. So, why would you take what they have to say concerning you and your history after you know the history of what they've done to your race throughout the whole fucking planet? Why would you take it as something valid? And actually believe that shit and take it to heart. And then go and try to challenge somebody with the bullshit that they didn't gave you. Create your own goddamn holidays. You don't need their stamp of approval. You don't need no other race. I don't give a shit what race it is. Anyway. Wake y'all brainless ass up. And stop being all that goddamn pork. That's why y'all ass can't think straight. You eat too much goddamn hog. And I always talk about that Bible shit. In the damn Bible. Same book y'all love with all y'all heart and passion. Most of y'all don't even read the motherfucker. Y'all just go to church and listen to what the preacher got to say. And take his word off face value. But that same goddamn book. It tell you thou shall not eat the swine or even touch his dead carcass. But that's y'all favorite dish. Just got to put some damn bacon bits and shit. You got to have that pork and that's why your ass can't think straight. Anyway. Some of y'all make me sick. Until then, wake y'all ass up.